Welcome to Code with me. Today we're adding a new feature to filter forms, and that feature is being able to add Google Sheets as a destination. This is part two. We have a PR that is open with some failing tests. What we want to be able to add is adding a new destination here in the form builder. We got the integration done, and I just asked Claude to review all of these files. And then this is kind of my long super whisper voice to text prompt saying, can you review this? Claude had just read all of this, huge pull of context, and then provided a summary of the current implementation, what's going on, kind of digesting how we have our shared types across the repository. And then now we are adding in some new details of how to write to a Google Sheet. We have implementation steps. Claude is now off to the races. So Claude's been working for a few minutes here. This is the crazy part. It's like, we're gonna close in on five minutes and like another thousand lines of code or something with this. And it all looks good too. Cool. Let me add the Google Sheets dialog right after the HTTP dialog. Refresh this. Now, with any luck, we have a Google Sheets destination. We don't have anything else configured. Let's add Google Sheet. No accounts connected. So this is not what we want this to look like. So we have some, we had a little bit of a snafu here. Let's do Google OAuth. I'm just gonna provide a bunch of context. I'm gonna be honest, I think this is an issue on the context that I provided Claude. Like, I don't think Claude knew that these were there. You know, I wish it would have, you know, fetched it, but I probably should have provided that information. Honestly, that's not, that's not Claude's fault, that's mine. Because for this user, they do have a Google integration connected, but when I go to add a destination, it says no Google integrations found. What do you think is the fix for this? Select a Google account. Cool, I can select that destination. And there we got it. Let's see now if this will work. Jake, Jake at filterforms.ai. See, all right. All right, we got a bug, failed to write. All right, we're not gonna read this. We're gonna hand it to Claude. Jake, first storm, boom, it is working. Look at that. All right, so just like that, we have now added in the ability for new destinations. Let's see how many lines of code we've done so far. All right, so we can look at our PR. The GitHub actions on this are going to fail again. We're up to 700 lines of code. Claude has written all of this. All right, that is a wrap for right now. So what we have implemented is we've added in the ability to add a Google Sheet. We can store the destination. Thanks to the prior video, we have Google Drive added and we have the 1700 lines of code ready to go. We have some build checks that are gonna fail. So we are going to do one more round of cleanup on this to get it nice and just a higher level of quality.